If I go in here, I'm going to start dying. Can I close this somehow? Oh, Lord. I'm suffering despair, chat. Light meter. Oh, dude, wait. Is this, like, permanent? Oh, God, I have made a huge mistake. What is this? Wizard runes? Oh, dude, if I... There we go. Okay. What do we do this? Translate. Delicious. Give me that, dude. Oh. You and your damn rope, chat. You and your damn rope. Okay, we need to we need to go search the area back there. I think we're actually kind of done here for now. What's what's up this way, real quick before we go? We have to go back to our base soon. I think we're filling up, aren't we? Yeah, we're getting close. What is over here? Oh, there's more cages. Boom. Let me go back to our base. Let's also see if we can find that map stone so we know exactly what we're looking for. I don't remember what it looks like, and I also don't remember what resources we need for it. So we'll do all that good stuff. Also, we got to build a new axe. Onion? Yeah, give me that. Just up here to the left, and then to the left, and we're at home. What's a chat? We good. Bunk. Yeah, if you do end up picking up the game, our code on checkout is COHH. -H. Appreciate those that use it. Donka Donka. Let's go ahead and, go ahead and get this going first. Although we're about to be out of cranberries. Maybe we should. Well, we can't really farm yet because we don't have the resources, but. Uh, let's put this in here. in there is our food container there we go thankfully everything uses out of that is oh it's this thing oh yeah we're not anywhere near being able to build this i don't even know what a black diamond is steel hammer we haven't even seen steel yet okay well <laughs> i guess that's that all right Crash Hunter, 68 months as a sub, 1,000 thanks for giving me um, 
You're not calling home and I need a hand on the shoulder. Well, thank you, Trash Hunter. I appreciate appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for your 68 months, dude. Is this live? Yes, very much live. Mm -hmm. Very much live, friendo. Oh, let's repair. Oh, I like that we just super fast clicked on everything. That's good. Uh, let's go back to here. Pop this away. There we go. Fantastic. Mm -mm. Great. So I think we're gonna yeah we're gonna start moving. Let's do it. So now we're gonna do this part. We have this. It's kind of hard to see on the map. They should have made these white, not black. Oh, build a new axe. Yeah, good call. Yeah, we need to go out and see if we can get the um, the one on the right there. Mm -hmm. Or axe charge for a spin attack. That's cool. Okay. We'll put this guy. Now, does it say, like, damage numbers and stuff? No. Tier 1 slashing. That's all it says. Okay. Put you on the ground for now. Okay. Oh, it's a drop attack. Wait, why am I cold and in darkness? Could I sleep until night? I might have made a huge mistake. Can I sleep again? Oh, wait. Yeah, day five, the dark. Bone cold. It's too soon. Okay, so it doesn't sleep until morning. Good to know. Whoops. Joe Below, thanks for the 22. Uh, I'll, I'll probably be at next year's TwitchCon, so maybe I can meet you then. Hey, Malator, what's up, buddy? Man, it is dark in here. Look at that cold going up. Oof. That is no bueno. One sec, guys. Charge attacks seem to hit twice, which is really nice. Yeah. I think we're going to start doing that. So is this Lords of the Ring Valheim? Uh, there, are, there are crafting, exploring, and building elements in this game, but it does seem a little bit more linear. Also, Valheim has the, the, you know, the big benefit of being procedurally generated and stuff, so very different feel. Very different feel. But it, it is a Lord of the Rings survival style game. Yes. That it is, laddie. That it is. Yeah. Oh, this game is also procedural? Oh, really? This is the first time I played it, so. Or I guess, I guess in this, in this game it's probably partially procedural. Yeah, like maybe maybe the layouts are different each time you do it, this kind of stuff. The blocks. I mean, it is done in this nice little kind of blocky thing, so. Yeah, that's right. We did put a seed in in the start. Our seed is uh, 69420-8008 for those wanting to play along at home. Well, that's nice. Oh, damn. Look at all that wood. Wait, did I just destroy all that wood instead of pick it up? 
No, I think I picked it up. 47? Seems like a lot. Is that all coal? No, it's not coal. What is bone cold? Too cold to ev effectively adventure or sleep. Must find warmth. Oh man. Okay. Can I build a campfire? Be cold. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I need to go in here and to the right. Oh, good. It just became day, so I'm no longer getting bone cold. Good. All right, so this is our fifth uh, hero token, so now we can build whatever that thing was. Something, something else we can build at home. Hey, bud. Item added coin? Is that what it said? Didn't get a recipe for that one. I just got a coin. What is it long? Smoke. Nanny. Um, let's go over here. Beautiful. Dude, definitely feeling the axe. Yeah, this is a lot easier. Who's the developer of this game? Uh, we are currently being sponsored today by North Beach Games. I believe they're the guys that are related to this. Oh, there's the guy right there. So, by the way, we haven't shouted this out for a while. Big thank you to North Beach Games. This is Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. You can get more information in the Moria command. If you do end up buying the game, our code is COHH. We appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, this is kind of like a building survival game based around dwarves. Uh, so far... The, the building, crafting, and surviving is pretty cool. Very Lord of the Ring theme, lots of exploration stuff. I have found the combat to be a little floaty. Very kind of, um, it, there's not like locking on and things like that. So it, it feels a little floaty. You can play this game in multiplayer. You can also play it solo like we are. And uh, I'm enjoying it. It is fun so far. So it's been, it's been cool. So continue watching. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know. Happy to answer anything. And again, a big thanks to the devs for sponsoring the game today. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Whoops. We good? We good. Let's go. Slick says, are you only playing this because you're sponsored? Uh, this was a sponsorship where the reason I took it was because I, first of all, couldn't play it yet. But I was interested in checking it out. Um, so far, I am definitely enjoying this game enough that I'm going to probably continue playing it. I'm being sponsored for four hours. But I am enjoying it enough to, to you know, like I'm having a good time with it. I, I'm kind of a survival building guy, though. That's what I like to do, so... Um, I'm, I'm digging the, the kind of meta mechanics of the game. Yes. Mm-hmm. This might make a good cozy game as well. I need to find a bigger freaking backpack, though. Yeah, I'm, I'm never a fan of exclusives, dude. Be it console, PC, whatever. One of those unfortunate realities of our situation. But I agree, not a fan. Never am. So we're just getting coins now instead of recipes. Hmm. Oh, look at this place. This looks cool. Now this isn't where we need to be though, is it? No. Let's let's go down to this bottom area. Figure out what we 
search the area for the axe fragment. Okay. Maybe it's because you already had the recipe. Maybe. Yeah, if it is if it is a light procedural element, then maybe the same... Um, maybe you can get the same things in different places. That's a good call. Didn't think about that. <laughs> He's kind of on the ground. What's up? Looking around. Not dead yet. Hmm. So as you can see, it's done in kind of like these blocks. So I'm guessing this block is where we have to search for this particular thing. This may even be like a procedural quest. I don't even know. Maybe biome specific stuff too? Maybe. We'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to see. I do love when games have like uh, procedural generation and then like inside that procedural generation can be different RNG events and different biomes and like all that kind of stuff. I always find that kind of stuff super interesting and enjoyable. I love playing it. Um, let's take all that, yeah. Hey, another carving. Cool. We have like a shrine back at our base that um that has those carvings. Can we get up there? Nice. Come on. Pull up. Hell yeah. place looks kind of important. Oh! Oh! A stone hearth? Wait a second. Hmm. White bean seed. Alright, we probably want that. Let's drop a bunch of wood. Time seed. I, I, I want that too. Stop it. Okay. We're gonna have to go back home, chat. So I can't search these. I guess I have to break them like a true dwarf. That makes sense. No search, only break. Only break! I wonder if it's the kind of thing where we can like build these pallet things. And then use them to get to secret areas. Yeah, I can destroy this roof. Totally can. That's cool. Hmm. Are falling damage. No, there's not. Like that. All right, so we need to we need to go back and resupply. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Let's let's run back and drop all this stuff off and come back so we can keep looting this place. We'll also, drop off the. We'll make the. Um, we'll make that thing that we can do now since we found the dead dwarfs. We'll repair our gear, we'll eat, and then we'll just come right back down here. Try from higher? Sir. Come on now. Mm -mm. Mm. Thank you, Null. Appreciate it, bud. 
Gotta get that sunion. This stuff seems to re regrow pretty quickly, which is good. In fact, we should go back and see if those cranberries regrew so we can make those uh, stuffed mushrooms. Which seem to be the best food we can make right now. I want to start with the farming, but for the farming, we need bat guano. Shakaka. We also need some kind of ore that I've never seen yet. So, not sure about that. This is full access, yep. Bumblebee tuna. Yeah, your balls are showing. Uh, let's go ahead and drop you off. We only need three more. Oh, dude, look at this. It's getting like magic juju stuff going on here. Where did we get those cranberries? Hmm. Right, first, let's get this going. Yeah, we need more cranberry. I think I think we got them over on the other side. Let's see. Get all this done. Right. Can you exit go left? Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll drop this stuff off here. This stuff off here. This stuff off there. Great. And now we can build whatever the heck this is. A memorial flame. Like, oh, damn. Um, honor. Hey, it automatically gives us hero spirit. Restoring and honoring Kazadun gives a bonus to energy for a short time. Cool. So whenever we come back to our base, we can just hit that to get that buff. Make gusta mucho. All right. Pop that there. Pop that there. Let's go see about these cranberries. Our base hasn't been attacked again for a while. That's good. Here's the sunny. Is it these? Ah, yeah. Perfect. We can just come out here and grab these whenever we need them. Gutex says, welcome back, Co. Thank you. Can you set markers on the map? Yes, you can hit X. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm hmm Sure can. Lots of options there. Uh, Myers Ezron, so, so far, and for anyone tuning in and wanting the answer to this too, um, it is, this so far is a Lord of the Rings centric building survival game. It seems to work pretty well. It has all of the kind of, um, things you'd expect in a survival game, except sorting. For some reason the game doesn't have sorting, which is bothering me more than it should probably. Um, but the surviving is there, the crafting is there, the exploring is there. It all seems to work pretty well. There's standard tech tiers to work through. Um, very L-O-T-R-E in terms of its lore and presentation. The combat feels very floaty. The, the, the combat is, um, I would say so far has been the weakest element. So, um, but the other stuff has been good. I'm definitely enjoying everything else. So, yeah. There's no sorting, chat. There's no sorting. Actually, no, I have a sword. So I guess there is sorting right there. There's the sword. Now I'm just confused. All right, let's go. Do I need to rest? Uh, I don't think so. Day five afternoon. Nah, you know what? Let's rest because then it'll get be closer to the morning, I guess. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> if you and here here comes the sponsored part. I am being sponsored to play this this morning. We're coming up to the end of our second hour. Um, if you do want more information, there is a Moria command that will take you to where you can purchase it if you wish to. If you do purchase it, our code is C-O-H-H. -H. Let's have a drink together, buddy. Thanks, Greg Chun. So, uh, big thanks to those that do. And uh, all the info, again, is in the Moria command or the profile button in my profile. 
That was our hard, hard our hydration warning. Got to hide. Everyone hydrate, homies. Mm. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Wow, Exile, thanks for the $10 tip and okay. <laughs> I know it's in trouble when Exile sends me a tip and the first line is don't read this out loud. Uh, hello, welcome back from TwitchCon. I haven't been able to catch a lot of your streams and I was studying my first year law exam. Just wondering if you'll be checking out Spider-Man 2. Yep, plan is to check out Spider-Man 2, City Skylines 2, and Alan Wake 2. A lot of twos. Uh, in the nearest future. Yep. Those are all on the docket. <clears throat> on the docket. Order. Order. How big is the map? Is it the whole Middle Earth? Uh, no, we're actually stuck in some mines. So our our area is um, smaller, a little bit more contained and focused. Yep. When will this game be available? I think it's available now, if someone can confirm. I'm, I'm pretty sure it went live at 9 o'clock this morning. Yeah. Some random mine somewhere has nothing to do with Moria. Yeah, absolutely. It's live. Okay, cool. Yep, there you go. Alright, so we need to explore this specific area to see if we can find this axe component. I think we should probably go to the left. We kind of focused on the right when we came in here the first time. Maybe we should go to the left. Hmm. I don't want to build this hearth. Can I break this table then? It was a wood table? Seriously? What? what? Mm, there we go. Have this. Can you break down any of those walls that look like they're break? Uh, they're, they're these. These we can't break down. No, there are some things we can break down though. A lot of this is just kind of like created infrastructure, so you, you actually can like break it on down. But no, some some you can't. Did that not work? Oh, I need one more stone. Derp. 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 Do. Get right like this, for instance. You can just break this down if you want to. Welcome back. How was the trip? It was great. I actually have a YouTube video up that um, talk about TwitchCon a little bit. I think it's in the TwitchCon command. If Susie made that. Possibly. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, a bow. Yo, I want your bow, bro. Yeah. We're getting cold. Hey, I want to build that hearth. Okay. Y'all are dead. I need one more stone. Just, I can get it here. What's that thing? Oh. Yeah, but you know what? What am I? I'm, I'm saying we need more stone. We're literally surrounded by stone structures, so we can just. There's some. Oh, there's one right there. Let's just pick that up. Perfect. So hopefully, what we can do. We're bone cold right now, so the hope is that if we build this hearth, it will warm us up a little bit. Hmm. <clears throat> 